What's up guys? It's Tari. Nice to see you again. So I'm here doing my first car vlog ever. I'm actually kind of nervous. Um, I just pulled into my driveway. Okay. I got back from the mall. I didn't do any shopping. I didn't do any shopping. I returned some stuff to um, Sephora, Mac, and RW and Quo. So I returned and got my money back because I was on that high that I, um, what I was talking about in my last video, which is the spending triggers, I was on like a spending, like I was on that high of that I need to buy stuff type of mood or vibe or whatever. So I was on that high. So now that, you know, I've come back to reality, I returned the stuff that I, you know, didn't really want or need. So yeah, now I'm in my driveway and everything's kosher and everything's good. So yeah, I just want to come and chat with you guys. I've, I've been doing some thinking last night because I watched the Real House Housewives reunion. Uh, I believe it was part two or part three, whatever. I think it's only two parts, right? And I, as I was watching them and like taking everything in, I was realizing that we don't have any, and by we, I mean like we, like women of color, okay? Like people of color. We don't have any family-oriented shows anymore. Like when I was growing up, there was Family Matters. We had like full, like I watched Full House from time to time. And then we had like um, Fresh Prince and stuff like that. And aside from like those family shows, we had like the comedy shows, right? Where it's like um, Living Color, Martin, um, Living, no, was it Living Color or Living Single? Whatever, you guys know what I'm talking about. We are living single. I remember growing up and watching those shows and I miss that. You know what I mean? Like I really, really miss like, family oriented shows and now we have like these reality bullshit shows and it's just like you're watching people who are privileged tv is just becoming so boring to me like i'm so over you know um love and hip-hop i'm so over that now i'm so over desperate housewives of atlanta like i just feel like everything that's associated with black people kind of has to be some sort of ghetto or ratchetness or about vanity like there's i don't know i just don't feel like there's any personal building if that kind of makes sense like there's no there's no growth it's all just about money you know what i mean i don't know if you guys get what i'm saying but i'm just kind of over it like i'm not gonna lie i am on empire i do like that musical show and whatever you know it's it has its ups and downs for me like certain things i'm like really though you know what i mean but for the most part you know i like that show but i just feel like all these other reality shows are just straight bullshit you know like Where's the family shows that I you, I grew up and watched, you know what I mean? And it's just like, give me a break, dude. And even music has changed, like, there ain't no more, there's no more love songs anymore, you know? Like, there's no more Tevin Campbell, like, oh my god, my sister used to kill Tevin Campbell. That's, that's why I know about him. There's no more Tevin Campbell, you know, Boys to Men, SWV, you know, there's none of that no more. There's no, like, love songs, there's, I don't know, I just... Like, those times are done with, you know? And I feel so sorry for, like, my niece and if I have kids. Because it's like, now the music is just so garbage. Like, ain't nobody talk about no, can you stand the rain? You know what I mean? Like, there ain't nothing like that no more. Like, what the fuck? I feel like the generation now and onward is missing out completely on all the good things you know what I mean and now everything's so technology based and everything like that like I'm happy I went to high school and we didn't have no camera phones you know what I mean because me looking like pure struggle in high school yo they would have had a meme about me somewhere along the lines you know what I mean? <laughs> and I'm just like I'm grateful for that because it's like I was born in a time where communication was key, you know, like we had to communicate. It wasn't no via text message. It wasn't no via email. It's like, if we're going to communicate, it's over the phone talking or face to face, you know, and I, I miss that. I miss that connection that, you know, there was before. Now I just feel like there ain't no connection at all, you know, so whatever. So I have a question for all you minimalists out there. Okay. And I don't know if this is going to be a TMI question. It all depends on who you are as a person and what you think is too much information. But I was walking past a lingerie store, right? And I'm like, ooh, let me buy something to spice up the bedroom, right? I mean, we're all 18 and over here, right? Like, I hope, you know? And I saw this lingerie piece and I wanted to buy it. I, I'm still going to buy it, right? But it's just like... 
as a minimalist, if I buy this new lingerie set, do I have to throw away the one that I got last month? Like, I don't know. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, I don't know if, like, does minimalism count when it comes to lingerie? Or is lingerie, like, its whole, is lingerie in, like, a whole nother category? Because I watched this video this morning, actually, before I went to go return the stuff. And this girl said that she only have eight. She has eight panties. Eight panties, okay? And I'm like, that's wiling. Like, I can't have no eight panties. Like, th like that's some next shit. Like, that's some straight up, like, caveman stuff to me. Like, I can't, I can't do that. So, I don't know. Like, I'm just asking for all you minimalists who have been in the journey for a minute. And there's one, there's one supporter of mine who commented on my spending triggers video. I think it's Flower, F-L-O-O, -O. I'm not too sure, but you know who you are, okay? <laughs> and I feel like she's a little bit more mature within this um, minimalist game. Like, she's been in it for a while, that's what I mean. So if you're watching the video, does lingerie count as a minimalist item? Like, let me know, because I don't know, you know? I really don't know. <laughs> okay. I wanted to show you guys the squirrel who had like a loaf of bread in his mouth, but obviously that didn't work out. I have this friend, okay? And this friend has my spare charger. And I obviously want my spare charger back, but how can I say this? Okay, me and this friend, right? And I say friend because I really don't even consider him my friend, to be quite honest. But we lost touch for about like four or five years right and before we lost touch we were really close like i would talk to him every single day like we were really really close right and so whatever we lost touch and it was just because he changed his number i changed mine and you know i was going through life he was going through life and then we just kind of lost connection right it wasn't anything like like i said we weren't on bad terms or on bad vibes it's just we just kind of grew apart type of stuff right so a couple of weeks ago i saw this guy and, you know, it was just like, hey, like, long time no see, blase, blase, you know. And I honestly thought that we would just pick up where we left off, right? And I must be naive to think that way that people stay the same over the course of, like, five years. I, you know, I, I don't know. Maybe I was just excited to see him and I just wanted to know, like, everything that happened within the five years, right? I'm like, yo, like, tell me everything. Like, I want to know every single day of five years about what you've been through, you know what I mean? And I had, I guess I expected, I don't know, I guess I expected so much, but basically this guy is just playing out a liar. He's playing out a user, like, I don't know. I feel like the first day, like, we hang out, like, I saw him and then we, like, exchanged numbers and then, well, mind you, we didn't even exchange numbers because he didn't even have a phone. You know what I mean? But, you know, I gave him my number. I told him, like, yo, like, call me and, like, we'll link up. We'll go get coffee. Like, we'll sit, you know? Like, we'll sit and we'll, like, tell me about what's going on, you know? And the first time I see this guy, he's, like, trying to ask me for money. Um, like, a whole bunch of shit. He's asking me for money. He's telling me what he's been through in, like, the course of, like, the five years. He's telling me that he's been up and down in life. That, you know, um... I guess due to life circumstances, you know, he ended up going to jail and now he's trying to figure everything out, which is fine, you know what I mean? Because like I said, I was mentally thinking that we were just going to pick up where we left off and I'm the type of friend where you can tell me anything, literally, you can tell me anything and I won't feel no way about it. Like, it won't change the fact, it won't change how I feel about you. Like, it won't change that you're my bona fide friend, right? If I consider you a bona fide friend, you're my bona fide friend, okay? Like, you can be the biggest whore in Toronto, and I'll be still be down for you because you're my friend. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I don't business. It's just like, yo, like, when you come to my house, we, we ain't sharing no, no cups or nothing like that. You know what I mean? But, like, there's not going to be a period of time where... I'm sitting somewhere and there's going to be some next bra talking smack about you and I'm not going to say nothing. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I'm that type of friend. Like, I don't care if we're in the classiest ball ever. If I hear somebody talking about you and I know that they're talking about you, I'm going to be all up in that person's face. Like, you don't talk about my friend like that. You know, if you're going to talk about her, you better talk about her 50 feet away where I don't hear you talking about her. You know, like, that's the type of friend that I am. So I automatically assumed that when I saw this guy that we were just going to pick up where we left off, right? Obviously not nothing nagasa 
and he's just like you like I felt like he was just trying to use me and then we went out to eat and you would expect now mind you I didn't expect him to pay for the meal by any means like I like I got my own you know what I mean like I had the intention of paying for my own meal right but how are you gonna go out and not bring your wallet though you know what I mean like little shit like that and then he's asking me for like rides here and there and excuse me I cut that shit so quick like I cut it so quick like he's just like oh T do you want to drive me to Broadview station and I'm just like I'm not a taxi like I told him straight goods like I'm not a taxi like I don't know about you and your license or whether you have one or not but you better get something like you better bust it down there because yo this whole type of user thing like it ain't happening you know what I mean and on top of that it's like this guy's telling me some stuff about how he likes when <laughs> sorry I'm gonna blush here the same day we went out to go eat this guy's telling me how he likes when girls sit on his face and how he likes to eat pom pom and suck pussy and all this kind of stuff and I'm just there like you know we're friends right like I'm just there like I don't see how like, I don't see how this has anything to do with me. Like, I don't see how your joy of, you know, doing fellatio, I don't see how that is, I don't see how that has anything to do with me. You know what I mean? So, already in my mind, I'm like, okay, this guy ain't looking for friendship because, you know, like, I understand at a certain period of time when you're friends with somebody, you know, you kind of, like, you're very expressive and you open up, right? But it's just like... He was being, like, so detailed about, like, oh, like, I like when a girl sits on my face and, like, grinds her nan in my teeth and all kind of fucking shit. And I'm just like, yo, like, you need to bring that shit to somebody who actually wants to hear about it because I'm not interested in no way, shape, or form. And even if I was interested, why would you bring those talks to me? Do you know what I mean? I just feel like there's every woman, every woman needs to be talked to differently. Do you know what I mean? Like, for example, you're not going to talk to Michelle Obama the same way you talk to Kim Kardashian. You know what I mean? Like, you talk to every female differently. You can't spit the same game to every female and expect to get something. You know what I mean? And it's just like, yo, I'm not that type of female where you can try to talk about how you like to give you uh, fellatio and I'm going to be like, well, <laughs> come get some then. Like, that's not me. You know what I mean? And I just feel like, this guy is just so lost. He's just so lost in life. And I'm just like... I feel like he's just on some user type shit. You know what I mean? And that's why I'm just like, yo, you have my charger, but you know what? Just keep the Rosclaw charger because... I'm not even trying to get... Like, I'm not even trying to be alone with you for you to get any idea that... I want peace. You know what I mean? It's just like, it's not like, nah, brethren. Like, and it's just like, fuck. He has my charger. <laughs> I don't even want to drive to get it because I have a feeling if I drive to get my charger, this guy's going to be like, yo, T, you want to drop me somewhere? And I'm going to be like, nah, like, just give me my charger so I can go home. <laughs> I don't even know. The fact of the matter is, you can't talk to every female the same way and expect them to get excited. Like, that ain't me. Now, mind you, if he was my boyfriend and you start talking stuff like that, I'd be like, hell yeah, yo, you know what I mean? But it's just like, I'm not even interested in you like that. I thought we were friends. And I'm not even flirtatious with you in any way. Like, I'm straight, like, I didn't even wear makeup when I went to go see this guy. I didn't even wear makeup. Like... I wore no makeup, I was wearing like all like very very covered like how I am now like I'm very very covered like there is no skin showing on me besides like my feet you know what I mean like there's no cleavage showing there's no bum showing now mind you I'm a very slim girl like I'm slim right I'll be the first to admit it I'm a slim girl mind you I do have a little some something, something but you know I'm not like a, vol a voluptuous female where it's like it doesn't matter if I try to cover, you're still gonna see peace, you know what I mean? Like, I'm very slim, like, I can cover my stuff and you won't even know I have nothing. Like, you'll think that I'm, I have a flat body, um, no breasts, like, 
you know what I mean? And I just feel like I'm not being flirtatious with you in any way, shape, or form, but you're bringing those talks to me. Like, what's wrong with you? I'm not flirting with you on the phone. I'm not showing you no skin. Like, there's no indication of interest besides me just wanting to be your friend. I don't even know why I want to share that story with you guys, but... I don't even know if I'm even gonna get my charger back, yo. I'm just gonna tell him, you know what, keep it. Keep it as, like, a, a housewarming gift and just... You know, just let it go. Let it go! Let it go! Is that the song from Frozen? Is that how it goes? I've never seen the... <laughs> I've never seen the movie.